Now, one of the most common uses your students have of computers is computer gaming. Um, a lot of students um, en enjoy computer gaming as part of their recreation. But we can take that further and explore as part of digital technologies, students creating their own computer games. Because computer games are simply applications. Now, a few things you need to understand. There's, we shouldn't think of computer games as just one thing. There's really many, many different types of computer games. There's more genres of computer games than there are movies and books. It's very, very diverse. And what one particular genre that students may be interested in may not interest other students. And there may be some genres that are inappropriate for use in schools, such as first-person shooters, where they're going around shooting each other, whereas there may be many other computer game genres that are more than appropriate for use in schools. So that's the first thing to understand, that there's a whole range of different types of computer games, and they can be used in various ways. Some of them are quite simple, and students can create their own very easily. Some of them are more complex, and students, while they may want to create um, that level of complexity, it's generally beyond their capabilities. Not always. There are primary school students that are creating very advanced computer games, but that is by far the exception. So, once you understand that computer games, though, are applications and that students can create their own, then they can be used to solve problems. Remember, that's the focus of digital technologies, solving problems. So we want students to think about how we could solve a problem through the use of a computer game. It might teach them something, for example, and there are many educational computer games. It may help them understand things from a different perspective, such as being kind to animals, or the, the impact of war, or the geography of a particular country. There can be a whole range of different things that students can learn through the use of computer games. Now, it's not always just about learning, though. Entertainment is a big part of computer gaming, of course, but in educational contexts, we tend to steer students towards the learning applications. But that said, if one of the problems that they were trying to address was a problem around transport and um, parents dropping off students at their front um, gate and traffic jams occurring, creating a computer game that simulates that and explores how to make that more efficient may be an effective solution to that problem. It may be around, um, yeah, there could be a whole range of different ways that that could be applied in that circumstance. But remember, computer gaming, as with anything in digital technologies, is about learning fundamental concepts and applying them to solve problems. So as part of your workshop, you're going to be creating a computer game, a choose your own adventure style text-based game in a programming language called Twine. So you need to engage with that before the workshop so that you can come prepared to be able to create your game during the workshop. And there's some activities for you to work through to do that. And to take you through creating a slightly more complex computer game, the activity for this module is to create a Flappy Bird computer game, which can move through some obstacles and avoid those obstacles as it flaps along. So I hope you enjoy creating that and learning more about programming through computer games.